Hello, welcome back. It is Amanda. Today I thought you would do a perfume collection. I don't know if I've ever done one of these. And it seemed like time. So we're going to talk about my perfumes. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's get to it. This is my perfume collection. One of my lights is back here. You're going to have to deal with it because I have to move like 50 things to get it out of the way and I'm not doing that. I've been on a perfume adventure the last i would say year or so really enjoying trying different perfumes i'm typically a very floral like fruity type of perfume wearer and um, occasionally i like a really fancy lady perfume which i will describe in such resplendent detail as we come upon those also I'm going to have to put all of the notes of these on the screen or in the description box because I am the worst at describing actual scents. I'm good at describing what the perfume makes me feel like or what I imagine this type of person would be who wears it, <laughs> but actual scent notes, not so much. So that will be listed in the description box. Anything that's still available will be linked in the description box as well. And... That's it. This is where I keep all of my mini perfumes. I don't have as many right now as, um, well, that's not true. I have a few more. Those are extra friendship bracelets from PBE, <laughs> but these are all of my minis. This is actually a roll-on perfume. I don't really use roll-on perfume that often, but I do love the smell of a fresh laundry perfume, so that's why I kept this. This was a gift purchase in an Ulta bag. I'm not going to go through all of these um, other than that. And this is also from PBE, a solid perfume, vanilla, lime, and thyme. I haven't used this yet. The idea of a solid perfume intrigues me. It smells like vanilla and lime. Like it's, it's very accurately described. So um, I haven't used that yet, but it intrigues me. And then the rest are minis, which... I'm not gonna go over all that. Those are just to try. So we're gonna move this guy out of the way here. I think what I'm gonna do is just put the perfumes here so you don't have to hear the clanking of the bottles incessantly. This is my little bunny. He's just cute, but we'll move him. Everything is definitely this clean all of the time and I did not just dust and wipe this cabinet down for this video. Let's just start with these two. This one I actually purchased from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx has a lot of great body mists and perfumes. I think it's called True Fragrance. They have a lot of really delicious smelling fragrances. This one is called Papaya Tropique. And to me, this smells exactly like um, Escada Moon Sparkle, which is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. But according to the internet, there's not a single same note in this perfume and that one. So I don't really know, but it smells really nice. Um, I haven't used this one yet, yeah, other than like the initial first spritz, but uh, I think this will smell really good in the summer. It's very fruity. I think that will be lovely. This is a new one to me this year. This is from Dime. This is the Seven Summers. And uh, again, I don't know all the notes, but this smells like summer. It smells like a delicious suntan lotion, but then also fresh and clean and summery and like sunshine. I mean, I very clearly used a lot of this this year. I was I was all about this scent right here. Big fan. Big fan. Okay, I have a couple more back there, but we're gonna talk about these right now. Uh, I really enjoy the Dossier perfumes. They are um, designer-inspired fragrances slash dupe fragrances, and they've been so generous to me multiple times and offered to send these. So all of these were sent to me from Dossier. The whole thing about Dossier is you're not paying for the packaging, you're not paying for the advertising, you're not paying for the pretty bottle, you're paying for the scents. So these are, I think, $29 to $49 perfumes and they smell exactly like the designer fragrances that they are inspired by. So as far as the ones that I have tried and smelled the original or or even owned the original in some instances, and they smell exactly the same. This is Fruity Orange. This smells like Clinique's Happy. I really love that perfume. I actually have a, a bottle of Clinique Happy, and um, this smells exactly like it. It's delightful. Oh, look, these are the notes. 
you can pause that. Next we have Floral Lavender, and I cannot for the life of me remember what this is supposed to be inspired by, but these are the notes. I really enjoy a neroli scent. This is Gourmand Orange Blossom, and I'll put the inspiration on the screen, I can't remember. We have Fruity Honey. So good. Citrus Neroli. Floral Peony. Floral Honeysuckle. So orange and honeysuckle and jasmine are big, big trends in the... <laughs> The scents that I like. To, uh, this is Ambery Saffron. I'm pretty sure this is the um, Baccarat Rouge 541. Yeah, it is. This smells so good. It smells like marshmallows a little bit, but somehow in a delicious way. Floral Berries. Clearly floral, fruity, Honey is is my, my scent profile. This is a perfume oil, which I have not used, but this was like one of those free gift Friday things. It smells delicious. It smells, um, I don't know what this smells like. It smells good, but I just forgot to use this. I'm, I'm going to do a perfume project next year, I think. So. This is my oldest perfume. This is the Ralph Lauren Romance. I've used a full bottle of this. This is the huge bottle. Um, my husband bought this for me when we were dating, and this was like my signature scent for a while. It's a little too much for me now. I don't wear it almost ever, but it was the perfume that I wore on my wedding day. Um, I do like how it smells. I just, and I do like how it smells. I just kind of forget to wear it, but I mean, I'm going to have it for a while because I got a big bottle of it, but that's just like a, a really nostalgic one too. This is the Vacation Scent of the World Famous Sunscreen. I really was curious if this would smell like sunscreen because I don't know if, you, if you've ever watched any of my videos where I talk about skincare, the smell of sunscreen makes me gag. I cannot tolerate that smell. But I love the smell of suntan lotion. And this smells like suntan lotion. It smells pretty good. I've, I wore that quite a bit last summer and thoroughly enjoyed smelling like an oiled up um, tanning bed lady. This is the Ellis Brooklyn Sunfruit and I like this so much I bought it twice. But that's okay because I actually do really love this perfume. It's very fruity but very, it just smells happy. Like it's, it's more fruity than floral um but i just think it's so happy and the full size bottle is like 108 dollars which is cheap compared to some perfume but like that's a lot for me i need to save up some ulta points or something to <laughs> to get the bigger bottle but I i'm gonna stick with these for now and maybe try to use those up we'll see this is one i bought from target um oh my gosh a while ago and um, I'd never heard of this brand, but it's called Finery, and this is called Sunphoria. And this is another that has no notes on it. Why don't perfume bottles do that? Um, but this just smells, yeah, like, it smells like sunshine and a little bit like tanning lotion. It just smells like chipper. I don't really know how to describe it. That's a terrible description. But um, I think this is, a, this is like a, a great summer perfume. This is one that Heather sent to me. From Soli Notes, I'd not heard of this, but it's just called Yuzu, and I really love the smell of Yuzu. I mean, it just smells like citrus. Citrus Yuzu, that's what it smells like. It smells really good. I used that quite a bit last year, too. And then we have another purse spray. This is the Kate Spade New York. Kate Spade New York. Mm, very, like, tangy floral. This smells good. I never keep a perfume in my purse, though. I just don't trust the fragility of these bottles. This is the Jimmy Choo. I think it's just called Jimmy Choo. I'm not really sure. The bottle is, the bottle is beautiful. Like the, the bottles on these really fancy perfumes are beautiful. But they're not necessary. You know, like we just want to smell good. I'm not carrying this around. No one's looking at this grenade bottle of perfume. 
This to me smells like what I imagine a very elegant, very kind, very wealthy lady smells like. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know why, but also her perfume bottle looks like a grenade, which I think is fun. I haven't worn this in a while. I really should wear it. It's, it smells great. This is Giorgio Armani C. I distinctly remember the first time I smelled this. I was at a Chili's with my mother. We were having lunch and a lady walked by and she smelled incredible. Like she walked by and I said, oh my gosh, that lady smells amazing. And I turned around and asked her, what perfume are you wearing? Because it smells amazing. And she said, Giorgio Armani C. And I immediately went to the Ulta website and put it on my wish list and eventually bought it. It's very, I don't, I'm not even going to describe it. I don't know. It smells incredible. It smells like a rich lady, you know, like a powerful lady. And then uh, they released Giorgio Armani C. Passion. And I've sprayed so much stuff in here that I can't actually smell this right now, but I know that this also smells good. I, it's just, you know, maybe a little more intense than the original but it smells great very i mean i guess it smells passionate i don't know uh we have tory birch tory birch i dropped the bottle and then the sprayer stopped working so i very clearly had a full bottle of perfume so i had to buy this um bottle from amazon and let me tell you the mist around this is fantastic and it's very it's very fine mist which i like because i typically put my perfume in my hair that's where i spray it and so this sprays very nicely in my hair. I want to say that there's like a little bit of honey in that one as well. And then also floor, very floral. I just, I just like floral and honey, okay? Oh, maybe I should have been a beekeeper. Oh, I love honey. And then these three from Escada. I love Escada perfumes. They're almost always some of my favorites. And then they're almost always limited edition. My favorite, as I've mentioned, is Escada Moon Sparkle. They don't make that anymore. It's a crying shame. But turquoise summer is delicious. These are all very summery scents. They're like light and that's my stomach if you heard that. I'm so sorry. Dinner is cooking as I film this. <laughs> They're always very light and summery and like crisp and fruity with a hint of floral. That's They kind of all smell like that but with different prominent notes. This one I think smells very watery but... Fruit, like fruity water. <laughs> this is called Summer Festival. I can't determine the prominent note in this, but again, just very fruity and crisp. And then this is called Santorini Sunrise. And this one is more, this one almost smells like it could be a unisex scent. It's not as fruity or floral, but it still smells fabulous. I'm gonna put all the notes in the description box and none of that's gonna be right, so whatever. And these remains. We have Narciso Rodriguez for her. I know one of these Dossier perfumes is supposed to smell like this. I can't remember which one. When I smell the nozzle, this smells very peppery, which is not something I enjoy, but when I wear it, I do enjoy it. So, what, what do I do? This is Clinique Happy. I love this perfume. It does just make me feel happy. It's lightweight. It reminds me of sunshine. It smells like oranges. I, I just love that perfume. This is one from Issey Miyake. This is called Issey Miyake. Oh, low DSC. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got this at Ulta for like 90% off. And the bottle is really cool. Um, I don't wear this one often, though. This is a very watery scent as well, in my opinion. It's fine. I just forget about it. Oh my gosh, please don't fall out. These two from Demeter. This is supposed to smell like a paperback book i mean it doesn't like nothing smells as amazing as the musty weathered well-used pages of a used book no company that i've ever found has been able to replicate that scent this doesn't smell like it at all but it does smell good it, it smells more like leather which makes no sense because it's supposed to be paperback. And then honeysuckle. I mean, we've seen from the dossier notes that I, I love a honeysuckle. I love honeysuckle. Like, honeysuckle, anything. When I lived in Texas and there was wild honeysuckle growing on the road. Oh, man, it was delicious. And the last two are body mists from Bath & Body Works. This is In the Sun. This is my favorite 
scent from Bath and Body Works. It has been long discontinued. They never bring it back. I'm basically hoarding this. I don't even care if I don't use it. I'm just like hoarding it. And then Sweet Cranberry Rose because I also love cranberry and I mean I also love rose. I don't use the body mist as much. Oh, but... hi. I am an idiot and I forgot about these perfumes. This is the Bulgari Solaire, or no wait, Riva Solaire. This was sent to me from Influencer. I probably wouldn't have purchased this because it's very fancy. This is a very uh, nice, it's an expensive smelling watery perfume. Like it has a very watery scent to it. I do like it though. This is the Way Melrose Place uh, perfume. I actually didn't even know Way sold perfume. <laughs> But I'm so bad because I personally adore the smell of their shampoo. And I haven't used this yet. Uh, that's what this smells like. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. And I'm not going to keep it in here, but I really like this little tube. And then lastly, I bought this from Sniff, which honestly I had never heard of. But I saw it on the Ulta website and I thought... Yeah, sure. So I think I redeemed points for these. And this is a trio of fragrance. We have Sweet Ash, Tarte Deco, and Golden Ticket. And these are all, I mean, this smells like cherries. This smells like, ugh, this smells like pipe tobacco, but I mean that in the best way possible. It smells delicious. This Tarte Deco. It smells like cherries and something else. Again, the notes will all be in the description box. I, I can't remember anything or pick anything out. And then Golden Ticket. I feel like I feel like the description of what I want to call this is on the tip of my tongue and I can't I can't think of what it is, but they're all very interesting scents. Um and the mister on these is nice. I mean, look at that. That's nice. Um, yeah, I forgot about those, so I just wanted to include them. Now we're at the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. I would love to know your favorite perfume and what kind of scents that you enjoy. Please let me know. Everything will be linked that I can find. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video.